All right, Shalom, I'm giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, love of Shah Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Now, this is, um, and it was, it's kind of early. I just woke up. I have this name. Oh, this is a Canadian prepper. So, like, this Canadian prepper. This is his channel here. Um, now, I saw this report on Wyon News about 10 minutes ago, but he reported on it about two hours ago. This is the first death from this, um, this bird flu that's reported. I think he's going to tell you, I think he was in Mexico. Wyon News reported it was in Mexico. So here we go. Here we go. Well, you know today's date, which is June 6, uh, 2024. Would you get your 6, 6, and 2 plus 4, 6? So they said a big announcement was coming on this date here, 666. You know, they deal with these numbers like that. So for all you, you out there, you playing around with the names, right? We, we, we about to see. It's about to get thick. It's about to get thick. This is the time to kiss the sun. This is not a game. There's no escaping from the pressure that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is about to release on his place. Let's play a little bit of this video here. All right. Well, I have some bad news. I think it is that time again. Get a load of this. You probably already heard that a man age 59 with pre-existing health conditions, we must emphasize that, has succumbed to H5N2. This is not only the first human case, but the first human fatality. Now, we're going to talk about the suspicious and rather mysterious, at least for now, until more details get revealed, circumstances surrounding his acquisition of this illness. And I'm thinking the way that the media is exposing the narrative here, it's starting to be very reminiscent of what we've seen throughout the pandemic. And perhaps there is a reason why Moderna's stock has went up 100% mm. in the last year, considering they, of course, are the front runners for the bird flu jab. Now... So I can first commercial, but uh, we can stop it right there. You can go over there because it's early. I gotta get ready for this damn plantation, right? Let me just um. Well, this is not a game. This is not a time to be playing, man. This is um. This is Job thirty verse seven. Alas, but that day is great, so that none. Boy, you know how much how many things about to be happening. You out here running around talking about. Jesus Christ, bless you, Mosai, Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, Yahuwah, you know, Allah for that matter, Jehovah, and this is a time like, like no other, so that none is like it, it is even the time, it's the time period of Yaquabs, Jacob's trouble, that's all the tribes, and when Jacob is in trouble, the whole world is in trouble. That means Esau trouble. You Edomites about to get it. You Moabites, you Ammonites. The world is about to go through it. This is the end. The Lord is on his way. It says, but he this is the elect now. Not playing around with the names, being sincere, taking this thing serious because it is serious. You're going to need to call on Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, and the spirits will activate. And the Lord is going to help you. This is not a time to be flip-flopping, lukewarm. Shit, they about to lock this place down, man. And you know it's switching, going quickly going to switch to the MOTB. Time is short. But he shall be saved. This is the elect. You got the covering. Saved out of it. And having those names is part of that covering. And only the elect going to have these names, man. I mean, they're right here. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. You see that? Strong tower. Don't let nobody trick you out this name here. We got it. It's been sealed with us as part of the unction. 
and it's a strong and the Lord about to show it. The righteous, the elect, the righteous runneth into it. We ain't playing with the name. We know it's power and it's safe because we don't need it. So you haven't heard it? Yeah, matter of fact, let me see something. Let me let this go by because I want to. Now, of course, yeah, yeah, many of you are probably here for the World War III news. Look, before I get into this, because this is very concerning, let's just quickly go over the deets. Yes, the war with Lebanon and Israel has started, or it will start on? within a few weeks, officially. The exchanges today were horrific, the worst that we've seen thus far in the conflict, bar none. We're also seeing Vladimir Putin do a very impromptu press conference where he laid out three essential notable things that most people are talking about. Number one is that the United States, for the first time, has been deemed an enemy of Russia. I know mm. that seems crazy considering that their ISR, their troops, their money, and their weapons are routinely hitting Russians and killing Russians, but only now have they deemed them the enemy. He also said that it doesn't matter who gets elected, and this is what I've been saying for some time, nothing is going to change with respect to foreign policy fundamentally. He also said that, and probably in the most flippant yet assertive way I've ever heard him say, that Russia will use nuclear weapons and the West thinks that they are bluffing, but they aren't bluffing. Now, he said this to the consternation see, of a so very... This is, this is this thing. We in the last days. You know, I'm going to say this one thing and I'm going to go. So you can expect false prophets to come out, pay agents, to try to deter the elect from salvation. You know, that's all prophecy. But we got to remember the Lord said we didn't choose him he chose us and the lord is here to save us from our enemies luke 168 and we're going to need some saving because all this is happening is going down and it's moving fast and yeah those arrows in jeremiah 50 51 they will be shot here and it will come a day when you're going to scream yahweh bahashem yahweh shah and that matthew 7 21 is going to be available to you from playing around for the imminent destruction that's at hand. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodashalom.